Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode three of Innovation Unscripted, the episode series. Hey, guys, my name is Sam. I'm from Nashua, New Hampshire, and I'm a rising junior at Nashua High School South. Um, my name is Megan Jones. I'm going to be an incoming freshman at Ball State University. Hi guys, my name is Abby Haluska. I'm from Hobart, Indiana, and I'm going to be an incoming freshman at Purdue University. Go ahead and talk a little bit about your individual projects. What is this journey that you're going on right now with innovation, and how are you creating as a youth innovator? So we are working on a medical device that helps people from, well, it originated with arthritis, but through our research, it has expanded to numerous um, disorders and stuff. But basically it's a glove that heats, vibrates, compresses, and also has a weighted bead attachment, so it can reduce tremors and stuff like that. So basically to help relieve pain and stress in the joints in the hand. But the past few weeks, we've been doing a ton of research and development. We were actually enrolled in a customer discovery course where we interviewed um, 23 individuals with arthritis. And we learned that this is something that has a bigger market than just what we originally thought. It can be applied to people with diputrin's disease, carpal tunnel, um, and related conditions. I started a company called SAFE, which stands for Sound the Alternative Fire Extinguisher. Um, my second thing is something called Spark Academy. Um, we are kind of taking, instead of the traditional college counseling where we have like, you know, like older, older people who have studied all this stuff, like teach younger, or just really write younger people's essays. We have kids who have just gone into college who know the, because college admissions are changing every year. So the people that know like the changing admissions game and basically it's kind of our way to hack the system I guess. Um, something that I want to draw from that it looks like is a common theme throughout the room is teamwork. Um, so Sam I know you're working with one of our other innovators Joshua um, and Megan and Abby you are all on the same team so I'd love to hear if you guys could talk a little bit more about this process of collaboration. For delegation it's like you just gotta have faith I guess in the people that you're delegating to. Working with the team has been really influential just because it's really important to get new ideas and new perspectives on what other people think. Um, I know originally I didn't want to do this project. I wanted to, I thought it was a great idea, but I was intimidated. And having people who want to do it, but they're not intimidated, they don't have any um, fears, and they're really encouraged and motivated, that's really helpful to work with. What is something that you've learned about yourself in this process of innovating um, and being a youth innovator right now? I can I know how to talk to people very well and I know how to communicate very well but sometimes I don't think like in the perspective of others so like it kind of like I learned like new perspectives as to how to talk to people and how to interpret people. I guess this changed me a lot in the sense that it changed what I wanted to do in life. I, I guess I guess something I've learned about myself is just like that I'm not afraid to fail when it comes to this stuff absolutely adore networking and I never realized that before. Um, I plan on going to Purdue to study engineering and prior to this project at all I was always a very engineering technical um, mindset person but this project kind of introduced me to entrepreneurship and I feel like with entrepreneurship comes leadership, comes collaborating and networking. Talk to us a little about a little bit about what your fear was um, and hopefully how you countered it, how you dealt with it um, and maybe even avoided it. I guess you just have to think about it as like, we still have like our whole lives ahead of us even if we do fail. If anything, failure is beneficial to us because we can learn more for future businesses that we want to start. We're young and we have so much to accomplish and succeed in, so if we just take all our fear and all of the stuff that's stopping us, we can achieve so much more and that's what people are aging to realize, so. Um, as, as young innovators, it's so important just to do it. If we don't do it, then when are we going to? You know what I mean? Um, so having opportunity ahead of us, college ahead of us, um, times that we will have to focus down and that we know that we'll have less time to focus on what we um, could be doing, that kind of motivates me to just take action, face my fears, and do it right now. Picture yourself in that forward, in that um, however many years from now, Looking back, what is something that you are most proud of? Showcasing my passion within my projects and um, finding a love for engineering and a medical background and squashing it all into one and overcoming something that can help our community members and our loved ones for sure. 
Um, like I said, I'm really interested in engineering and I know that I'm not going to give up engineering for entrepreneurship or innovation and I think vice versa. Um, I really want to combine innovation with engineering to kind of enhance both of those um, t topics for me. I know that I did everything I could. I learned from everything from just like how to get a business off the ground to how to network with people, how to cold email people, you know, and you know, just how, how it feels to take a risk, I guess. So I, I guess what I would just think about, what I would be proud of myself for is just like knowing that I tried. What is something that you wish you knew maybe a year ago, maybe five years ago, maybe something you wish you knew this morning? So starting this project, I was intimidated because I didn't know how to build a prototype. Um, but going into the project, I realized that I can learn it by, by myself. There's um, opportunity on the internet, opportunities for pitch competitions, and just a lot of things that if you really, really work hard to look for, they're there and they're going to help you. Mistakes are only mistakes if you don't learn from them. So really just don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to fail. Um, just go for it, I guess. You're never too small to do something big. You, If you're passionate about something, do it. and take it from there, run with it, and make it the best you can, and keep working hard if it's something you love. I think the important thing to recognize with that question too is there's always going to be something that you wish you knew. There's always going to be something that you could have done better or done differently, but the important thing is is that you still did it. That about wraps up um, all the questions. Thank you all so much for joining me and diving a little bit deeper into your own experiences, your stories, your backgrounds. Thank you so much again, and we'll see you back for episode four tomorrow. Bye.